Hi everyone. I guess this morning's gonna be welcome to morning coffee break. It's raining. It's not raining hard, but I don't want my camera, you know, my phone to get wet. I don't need to get wet either for that matter. I could probably use an umbrella, but that'd be aggravating. So I thought I'd do a little morning coffee break. And uh, I've got these jokes that were for Mother's Day and we hadn't had a chance to do an afternoon coffee break and uh, been tired, been doing a lot, been real busy. So uh, I thought I would do these jokes and let y'all listen to the birds and stuff. And I did, uh, I'm tired this morning. I'm, I'm sore all over. I pulled my left shoulder a little bit, lifting that kitty litter with joy. And I also did, planted 12, uh, tomato plants out here. I see one, two, three birds down there on the ground. Here comes two more, three more. They're really starting to catch on again to the feeders. Hate to scare them off, but I'm gonna at least go out here long enough to show you these tomatoes. So I'm gonna take a picture of them, of course. They're faring pretty good, you know, for uh, Let's do it. I don't know if it'd be best that way. Maybe a little further over. I got 12 of them. I got 12 of them and they did good overnight. They're not, I've been having them out in the sun to get them used to the sun. And uh, they, uh, they, they're doing fine for, I, I thought they'd be a little wilted this morning. But, uh, as you can see, it looks funny though, I mean, with all those in there, but they'll work fine. I know, that's plenty of space, that's enough space between them, because they'll stay in the, pretty much in the cages until they grow too tall, and then, you know, they'll be over the top, so. All these guys are looking good this morning. Hey, everybody. Hope you're doing good this morning. Sorry the sun's not out. And do y'all know, is a leek the same as an onion? Is it like a garden onion? I mean, it's not the same, I'm sure, but let me see, I got my glasses over here. I got this, oh, I dropped my glasses. Well, at least they're Dollar Tree glasses. They're fine. Let's see. It says, Leak, American flag, uh, an heirloom variety that is close relative of both onion and garlic. Most commonly used in soups and stews, can also can be used in salads. Wow, 90 to 120 days, so it'll take a while. Hmm. Be something different. I mean, I don't think I've had them. It's got the cross between garlic and onion. That's cool. So I definitely still need some onion sets because we thought those were onions. I should have read them. But still, that's interesting. Something else to try. Birds are happy. Okay, now these viewer jokes, they were sent in, the first ones were sent in from the flower child. Let me get a drink of coffee. I got my coffee. Ooh. Okay. What did the baby corn say to the mama corn? Where's popcorn? <laughs> hey. What did the mama tomato say to the baby tomato? Catch up. <laughs> Why don't mothers wear watches? There's a clock on the stove. <laughs> Hoo -hoo. 
Why did the baby strawberry cry? Because his mom was in a jam. <laughs> oh, thanks for our child. Now let's see what we got here. Uh, that's, uh, uh, these were sent by Jump Off A, y'all. He's a funny guy. Uh, I asked my wife what she'd like for Mother's Day, and she said for me to drive seven hours east with the kids and then turn around and come back. <laughs> Mom, I mom, I told my kids on Mother's Day I wanted to be pampered, so they bought me some diapers. <laughs> oh, for Mother's Day I got my mom a case of Bud Light. After all, I'm the reason she drinks. <laughs> Pro tip: When ordering flowers to be delivered on Mother's Day, use a current address. Although Mike appreciates his new orchids. Don't water them too much, Mike. <laughs> Logan, I'm looking for something that doesn't look like a last minute gift and says, you're a great mom. Gas station, cashier, cigarettes. <laughs> so the gas station cashier says cigarettes for a great gift. <laughs> Moms will clean up everything. Scientists have proven that a mom's spit is the exact chemical composition of Formula 409. Mom's spit on a Kleenex, you must, you get rust off a bumper with that, but you're stuck with the smell. <laughs> and then there's a few more. Every Mother's Day, I stop by and visit my mother's grave just to make sure she hasn't moved. <laughs> Neurotics build castles in the air. Psychotics live in them. My mother cleans them. <laughs> Everybody wants to save the earth. Nobody wants to help mom do the dishes. <laughs> God. If you feel tense and get a headache, follow the instructions on a bo the bottle of aspirin. Take two tablets and keep away from children. <laughs> oh gosh. Happy Mother's Day to someone who really has what it takes, kids. <laughs> those are great, y'all. Thanks a lot for sending those in. Anybody that has some funny jokes, you can send them in and I'll, eat, I'll do them either. Uh, usually we would be doing them on afternoon coffee break whenever we have one. So if you send some in, I'll probably do it on that. Oh. What are y'all gonna get into today? Kind of looks like it's slowing down out there, raining. Let me see something. Um, I'm not for sure if it's still. Let me see. Yeah, I got my toboggan on. It's, it's 47, but it feels a little chilly. I mean, I'll tell you what. I'm going to go in here and get the uh, umbrella so we can go down there and get the, the paper so I can do ad time today. I almost forgot about that. I'll be right back.
Now, I must have a drink of coffee before I go down the road, down the driveway. Had to find the, uh, the umbrella. So, I if I can hold this and the umbrella. <laughs> that ain't working too good. I'll try it though. Well, I see the paper down there. You can hear the rain hitting the umbrella. It'll probably take a while, especially for these bulbs to sprout that I planted. But I'm gonna work on that area right there and at least make it look better. Take all the water off of it. News and neighbor. Time for ad time today, everyone. <laughs> I wonder what my neighbors think about me. I'm not worried about it or anything, but they probably think, you know what? He walks around talking to himself all the time. <laughs> Grow everybody. And there's a, I don't know if I told you, but there's, I, oh, I put the bird bath out, by the way. There's a, a woodpecker. He's been pecking around on the house some. It sounds like a daggum, I don't know what. Uh, and uh, it came over here to the feeders. See all the birds? Came over to the feeders and uh, it uh, was hanging upside down on the bigger one and uh, was, was like reaching up with its beak and getting seed. Look at all those birds. Wow, that's great. Uh, sometimes there'll, there'll be more than that uh, uh, at times for sure. Last year, if y'all look in my playlist, you can see how many birds would be out here because I got a telescope that I can attach to my my phone and I put it in the window in the summer I don't know if I'll do it anymore or not I, I did it a lot last year but I, if there's a lot out here I probably will just to show y'all but it zooms in on them some I'd like to get that new phone that new galaxy phone that you can zoom in with but I'm not eligible yet you know how that goes but uh, if not I can use that and uh, film the birds. Uh, there's a lot this morning. I don't know if that one on the left has much in it or not. It doesn't look like, I can't see it, but that one on the right has plenty. But, <laughs> the tomatoes are looking good. Looking fine this morning. Uh -huh. They look, yeah, they look great. There's the paper there. Got Joy out here with me. Just them for the birdies. But yeah, there's a bunch out there this morning. Let's see. Oh, I must have scared them just then. Got my. Well, there's the blue jay, y'all. I want to see it get on that feeder. It's so big. He's a lot bigger than the other birds. Whoa. What oh, was that? Another blue jay? Wow, did you hear it? Mm -hmm. it? It made that noise when it got close to the other one. You notice the other birds won't come around when that blue jay's up there on the top. 
it, like I said, it's so much, so intimidating and big. That other one's up there in the tree now. This one's on the ground. See, there's no other birds there right now. I'm surprised there's not doves this morning. There's that one on the light post. Here comes the other one. There it is, it's on it now. See how big, it's hard for it to. Now look how it, it broke that uh, sunflower. It, it had it in his beak and then it hits it on the top of the, those poles, the shepherd's hooks. I watched it earlier doing that. It'll get a sunflower and it'll get up there and then it'll hit it against that. And uh, here's my friend. Hey there, go get you some food while you can. He likes to chase that uh, blue jay. This one over here on the driveway. Hey there. It lets me get close to it, pretty real close, really. Here comes the little ones now that that blue jay's gone. It's kind of like play by play <laughs> for a sporting event or something. See, did you see him take off? Now watch it. It'll get one. Now watch it get on top, and then it'll break it. Look. How funny. It's holding it with its feet. It's, it holds the seed. Watch it go back up now. It's got it in its feet. You know, and it's, uh, wow. And it, and it breaks it with its uh, beak. It'll go back up now. Oh, it's eating some regular seed right now. Look, there's a chipmunk, y'all. Oh, God, I know you can't see it. There's a chipmunk. Oh, my goodness. I don't want to get any close. I'm afraid I'll scare it off. They come running over there. It's a little, oh gosh, I didn't think there was any left. I'm sorry this is running a little longer, though. I like sitting here watching this. I hope y'all do too. There's two little birds on the ground. One flew away. That little chipmunk and the blue jay up there. Boy, I wish I could zoom in now. I don't know how good y'all can see it. Raining though. I better stay under the awning here, but look, it's got something in its mouth right now. It's gonna go over there. There it is up there in that dead pine tree. The chipmunk's still down there, but I bet y'all can't see it. It's so small. Let's see. I don't want to scare it off. I want it to eat. Plus, it's raining. I don't know if you can see anything moving down there around that pole, but that's a little chipmunk. How sweet. Well, I, don't, I could sit out here and watch them forever. I don't want to scare it off anyway. I want it to eat as much as it can. Uh, it's probably, you know, it'll fill up its little, its little cheeks. It'll fill them up. And uh, I wish I could put a little more seed down there. I put some, uh, I put the leftover seed down there yesterday. I guess that's what it's getting. And it'll take it back to its family. If it gets filled up. That is so cute. It was, what was cute was, there's a little black and white one landed on the one on the right. Uh, what was cute is that when it ran over there. <laughs> that was so funny looking. Well, everybody, I've enjoyed this. I got to walk down there one time to get the uh, the paper, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Please press that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell so that you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody have a great day, and I'll see you when I do ad time. God bless everybody. Bye-bye.